All of a sudden, we just heard this loud bang. It happened aboard Southwest Flight 1380 about 30 minutes into the trip. Felt like one of the engines went out, the oxygen mask dropped. Its left engine failed, part of its covering ripped off, and the shrapnel shattered a window. I hear this noise, and everything shakes up, and I look outside, and it's totally broken apart. Terrified passengers forced to breathe through oxygen masks, some posting images on social media of what they thought were their final moments, including Marty Martinez streaming the harrowing experience live on Facebook. It felt like it was free falling, and of course everyone's freaking out, everybody's crying. There's a panic once the window broke and she was out of the window. Um, everyone kind of rushed in to pull her back into the plane. The mother of two from New Mexico died in hospital. This is a very sad day. And on behalf of the entire Southwest family, I want to extend my deepest sympathies. Seven other people were treated for minor injuries. A remarkably calm flight crew is being credited for safely landing the plane. As far as we can tell, the safety systems on board the aircraft worked as designed for that type of a descent. All that cell phone footage will help the National Transportation Safety Board, which is leading the investigation. Officials are on the scene tonight in Philadelphia. Their focus will be that damaged engine. Unusual for it to fail mid-flight. Even more unusual how it exploded. David Common looking at that angle tonight. Though the outside was roaring in and passengers filling with fear, on the flight deck, this was a calm and ordered response. Could you have the uh, medical meet us there on the runway as well? We've got uh, injured passengers. Injured passengers, okay, and are you, is your airplane physically on fire? No, it's not on fire, but part of it's missing. They said there was a hole and, and uh, someone went out. Um, I'm sorry, you said there was a hole and somebody went out? That passenger died, the first fatality ever in Southwest history. The passenger was held reportedly inside the plane by others. So what happened to the aircraft that the window got so violently torn away? It had to have been parts from the engine that left the engine. Larry Vance is a former accident investigator with Canada's Transportation Safety Board. There are, are a whole series of blades that make up a rotating fan at the front of the engine. If one of those fan blades happened to crack and break off, it would leave the front of the engine and do the type of damage that we see. The engine on Southwest 1380 was inspected just two days ago. It's a CFM 56, the most commercially successful jet engine in history. And its manufacturer designed it to fail safely. That's to say, if one of the fan blades breaks free, it should be absorbed into the engine and out the exhaust, as seen in this test. Looks awful, but designed to keep parts away from the plane. It's called an uncontained engine failure and is extremely rare. About three or four a year. The last major incident, though, was just 19 months ago, and also on a Southwest Airlines plane. With the engine damaged, pilots raced to safety in Pensacola, Florida. Whatever happened today will take months to understand, focusing on what broke off and whether maintenance or design was a factor. David Common, CBC News, Toronto. If you travel by plane, chances are you have flown on a Boeing 737. It's the best-selling jetliner in the world, and Southwest happens to be its largest operator. The airline has more than 700 planes, all of them 737s. Late tonight, Southwest said it would inspect its fleet over the next 30 days. The model involved in today's accident is widely used around the world. About 7,000 of them are in operation right now. It has a good safety record.